YouTube and I came across with this uh, program, Teleradio, and I was so captured by 
the caption there in that particular YouTube because it speaks about perfect marriage. And it, the, the, the quotation goes like this, perfect marriage is a marriage between two forgiving people. Two forgiving people. What is that trying to tell us? It's a beautiful caption because it reminds us of how pickable we are, how limited we are. And for sure, when you enter into this sacrament, John Nathaniel, correct? And Lalaine Angeli, you have fully understood in the sacrament of marriage, if you still remember during your pecan, I'd like to bring back this particular understanding of the church with regards to the sacrament of marriage. In our Catholic tradition, our faith tradition teaches us that the sacrament of marriage is not a social convention, not an empty ritual, or merely the outward sign of a commitment. The sacrament is a gift. And I like to highlight this one. The sacrament is a gift given for your sanctification and salvation as a couple since your mutual belonging is a real representation through the sacramental sign of the same relationship between Christ and the church. Big words. What is simply saying that marriage is the icon of God's love to his people. Beautiful image, icon, image, representation, symbolism. Icon of God's love. But it's not just talking about the love between John Nathaniel and Lalaine Angeli, but part of that formula, the equation of love, is that God is at the center of your relationship. That is why it is understood as icon of God's love for his people. It is also understood as an intimate partnership of married life and love founded in the conjugal covenant and fidelity. Thus, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. Conjugal covenant and fidelity. Are you ready for that? John Nathaniel. Are you ready for that, Lalaine? Conjugal covenant and fidelity. Sa ato pa, dili na kaulitaw, John Nathaniel. Dili na kadalaga, Lalaine. When you go back to your home, you have each other, husband and wife. Conjugal covenant and fidelity so wala na hindi na love another one the commandment of the Lord is to love one another not love another one very clear in the gospel of John and so Father, sayup day na sala day nang maatra ka maadmire ka anang laing tao is that sinful? no what makes it sinful is that if you entertain and you allow the thought to motivate you to do that which violates your vow to each other. Okay? Okay na ma-attract. Kanindot sabi niya, gopa sabi niya, gopua sabi niya. It's okay. It's okay to appreciate. But if you allow that thought to influence your behavior, and violates your vow to each other, which you have forged at the altar of the Lord, that makes it a transgression, a violation of your covenant, conjugal covenant, and fidelity. According to Pope Francis, in marriage, the joy of love needs to be cultivated because marriage is not at all a bed of roses. It involves a series of obligations born of love itself, a love so serious and generous that it is ready to face any risk. 
Willing ba? Now, oftentimes, couple who enter into the sacrament of marriage fail to accept that in the relationship, they have to wear the third ring. You have four rings to wear. What's the first ring? Engagement ring. Today, you will wear the wedding ring. The third ring? Suffering. John Nathaniel was right. Suffering. The fourth is irrigating. Ayaw na. But encouraging or inspiring. We can't do away with suffering. They will come. They will naturally it or not. They will introduce themselves. But you have to be aware and conscious that every time you face your trials and difficulties, you have to go back to your love. Okay? You have to remember your first love when you saw each other, when you told yourself, Because if you keep going back to that, you will be motivated to face this suffering with courage. Because you have someone with you, suffering with you, but you have someone to help you pull you through. Dili ka nag-inusara, wala ka nag-inusara. All the more, if you remember that your love has been forged at the altar of the Lord, then you will remember, aha, naaday si Lord. That makes your relationship grounded and strong because you have the Lord. We don't rely on our own capacities. We don't rely on our own intelligence because in the eyes of God, our strength is weakness to God. Our wisdom, our knowledge is foolishness. That's according to St. Paul. Because the standards of this world is different from our standards of faith. So your love for each other, John, Nathaniel, and Lelaine, Anjali, your love for each other must pass the test of time, which overcomes all trials and remain faithful in the face of everything. Remember, it requires seriousness, seriousness, maturity, and generosity. Seriousness, maturity, and generosity. Because your love has to be selfless, not selfish. Selfless kind of love. Today, your I do's, your expressions of your commitment to this lifelong friendship, sharing, and commitment entails that you can always trust one another in all seasons of life. When you tell each other, I do, Father. I do. Yes, I do. When you're saying that, I hope it has a weight. It has source. It is being sourced from within. Because your I do, so if you're telling your spouse, you can count on me. You can trust me. I am with you. We will be together in this journey. And that you will never abandon and forsake each other when problems and conflicts may arise because a successful marriage, aside from the one I told you at the beginning of my sermon, a successful marriage constitutes complete trust, full commitment, and selfless love. Let me again ask you this question. Do you have this response? Do you have complete trust? Do you have full commitment? Do you have selfless love? Because now, if you are still hiding something, you are not honest to one another. If you are keeping secrets, then you still carry that in the new chapter of your life, then you are lying. You are not true to this covenant relationship 
you are about to forge before the altar of God. So bring to mind what are these things that may be considered a stumbling block of our relationship. What are the things which you can consider as hindrances of your progress as a husband and wife? Because if you're able to identify those things, then they will help you. They will help you understand each other. They will help you uh, enrich each other in this relationship. And so my prayer is for John Nathaniel and Lelaine Angeli. I pray that your love for each other may remain strong and constant and grow wiser and sweeter each day. I hope you still, every time you wake up each morning, tell each other, I love you, B. How do you usually, your endearment? B. Mine B. Use it every day to enrich your relationship. Make it wiser, make it sweeter each day, and that God may seal your love with His blessings and presence all the days of your life. These are my prayers for you. And don't forget God. I said, part of the love equation is God at the center of your relationship. Don't place God at the sidelines. He deserves your best. He deserves the central, the center part of your life as husband and wife. Amen. Lelaine Angeli, did you come here of your own free will? to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband. Yes, Father. John Nathaniel, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife? Yes, Father. Lalaine Angeli and John Nathaniel, are you both ready to raise as good Christians the children whom God will give you? Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Lelaine Angeli and John Nathaniel, since you wish to contract holy matrimony, please join your right hands and express your intention before God and His Church. Right hand. Lelaine Angeli, do you pay John Nathaniel here present? For your lawful husband, according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church. Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to him as his wife? Yes, I do. Do you accept him as your lawful husband? Yes, I do. John Nathaniel, do you take Lelaine Huntley here present for your lawful wife, according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to her as her husband? Yes, I do. Do you accept her as your lawful wife? Yes, I do. Now please face together and please say together after me. Grant us, O Lord, to be one heart and one soul from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. And I, by the authority of the church, calling on all those present here as witnesses, confirm and bless the bond of the marriage which you have contracted in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lelaine Anthony and John Nathaniel, we shall now bless your way and wings. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, your servants, Lelaine Anthony and John Nathaniel, with sufficiency of material possessions, 
which brings away symbolize so that they may use them to attain eternal life. We make this prayer Christ our Lord. Bless, O oh Lord, these wings, so that your servants, the lady Anthony and John Nathaniel, who wear them, may ever live in mutual love and in a broken loyalty. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Every breath we take, we'll choose you. Just one. 